Well, I wanted to go to work. They were paying me so much money. How I much? Didn't, Can I ask? They paid me a million dollars for five pictures, which I didn't want. I wanted a small salary and a percentage of my pictures because I'd had that in The White Sister, and I knew how much pictures made. <laughs> and and a, a little percentage is better than a, the most money they could pay you. But they wouldn't give me a small salary and a percentage. So they forced a million dollars on you before, <laughs> yeah. before the days of income tax. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, income tax has been there ever since I remember. Well, oh, we've always certainly had been it. there ever since I remember. But Me I, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you had to pay tax on that million? Yep. I still don't well. Yeah, I made five pictures for that, and three of them were mine. The, the La Boheme, uh, The Scarlet Letter, and The Wind. I'd had be, six unhappy endings. Six unhappy endings. One was apt to kill you. Really? An and I had six. An unhappy ending was bad box office for oh, the next film? It was death, sure death. No kidding. Absolutely. Well, why didn't they figure that out after three or two? Well, that's what they kept after me for. They didn't want me to do these things. But yeah. they didn't have a story. And uh, uh, I said the Scarlet Letter, Mr. Louis V. Mayer said, that, oh, we know that story. We've wanted to do it ourselves, but you can't. It's banned. And I said, banned? It's taught in the public schools. It's an American classic. I'm an American. I object to that. What do you mean? And he said, well, you get them to lift the ban and you can do it. So I wrote to the churches, the women's clubs. They wrote back and said, if I was responsible, they would let me do the film. So Mr. Mayor had to put it in my hands, and I was responsible. I picked the actors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I picked the actors and the director, Mr. Seastrom, the Swedish director. I thought the tempo of his films were closer to that period than we Americans, yeah. and it turned out to be right. He taught Igmar Bergman, you know, who does Liv Ullman's films, and I think they're very similar. Some people say Liv Ullman does Ingrid, Ingmar <laughs> Bergman's films, but, but you're, right, you're right, films are act yes. vehicles for actresses. And, uh, he did that, and... Um, Sweden's first actor was brought over for the minister, Dimsdale, and he couldn't speak a word of English. I couldn't speak a word of uh, Swiss, uh, Swedish. Uh, yeah. Swedish. But it didn't matter. I knew everything he was saying. He knew everything I was saying. And the audience couldn't hear either of you anyway. No. <laughs> now, Irving Thalberg, at that point, is this story true or not? He came to you and said, Miss Gish, we're not doing too well at the box office. We've got to invent a scandal for you about Absolutely. your personal life. That's why I left them. He wanted, like, you He said, you're way up there on a pedestal and nobody cares. Let me fix a scandal and everybody will Did he have a specific one in mind or just sort of any I didn't scandal? even ask him. And <laughs> <laughs> my mother was ill, my sister was in England, and I didn't have anybody to talk it over with. And I thought it over for three days, and I thought, well, they fix a scandal for the next picture, all right. Then the next picture will come. Then I'll have, have to, to give, have another scandal. I'll have to give a performance on screen and off screen. I haven't got that much vitality. <laughs> <laughs>